If you have shoulder pain and follow these five exercises along with two habit changes, there's a 75% chance that your shoulder pain will get better. And at the end of this video, we are going to show you why we're confident that we're going to have 1,000 people improve with their pain. So these exercises are all provided by Rick Olderman, who is a world-renowned physical therapist and has worked with thousands of people, and he typically sees a 75% of his patients improve with these exercises. And that's conservatively. Now the first stretch we're going to show you where you're using a doorway it was the biggest improvement he saw from that exercise, as well as the positioning treatment we're going to show later really helped him out, so stay tuned. The first shoulder stretch, you can go into a doorway and do it, or you can do it with a pull-up bar if you have one available at home. Now I'm going to place, we're going to say my left side is my bad side. I'm going to put palm away and I'm going to grab the frame of the door up top. Obviously you would have a wall here, so just put it there. But you're going to put pressure on there and then slowly lean into my left side. And I'm going to hold this for three breaths. That may take you five seconds. That may take you 15 seconds. Just hold it there and you can mess with how much distraction you have in the shoulder by bending your knees more or standing up taller do what feels good for you and you're going to want to do this numerous times a day maybe every two to three hours so brad how does this help stretch the shoulder out well what it's actually doing is working on the scapula and moving it up here we have a model of the scapula so it actually stretches it moves it up here to release it so it has free motion like it should have taking stress off of those painful muscles and allowing them to relax and therefore feeling much better so we're actually going to tell you a real story, and this actually happened to Bob. He was developed, or he actually developed right shoulder pain right in here. It got so severe that he actually thought about going to the emergency room to get some high dose pain medication to solve it. Uh, but he actually held off. But he ended up trying Rick's shoulder program to help his problem. The next exercise is called the arm wall slides. To perform, I'm going to put my pinky facing the wall as well as my elbows touching. My elbows are just below my shoulder to begin. As I start sliding my arms up the wall, I'm gonna think about actually lifting my shoulder blades up when I'm pushing up. Now go to what range of motion feels good for you and you're not experiencing pain. If you can't get up this far, that is okay. Just do what works for you and your limitations. When you go up, notice I start to get closer to the wall to get a little more of a stretch. You're gonna hold this for three to five breaths each time and do 10 to five repetitions. Brad, what am I forgetting? No, it's a good explanation. I do wanna add why this works so well. The first two stretches actually mobilize and free up the shoulder blade. Here we got the shoulder blade. But now we need to strengthen the muscles above in order to maintain the proper shoulder blade position. So that's what's happening. They're going up and now he thinks about shrugging up and that literally lifts the shoulder blade up where it needs to be. That was a problem in the first place. This was actually depressed for reasons we didn't get into, but that's the whole concept, and Rick has proven it work very well. Very, 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 <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to some changes in posture while working at a computer. But before we go farther, Bob has done all these exercises, or he did, and he found that the door stretch and the one where you bring your hands up against the wall were really doing some great benefits from working on his shoulder pain. And one of these posture exercises of the great benefit as well. We're going to do that one right now. Right, Mike? Yes. So what you want to do <laughs> is if you're seated in a chair is actually support the shoulder that is bothering you. Oftentimes when you have pain, your shoulder blade is depressed down. It was his right shoulder. It was his right yeah. shoulder. It, oftentimes, I'm exaggerating, but it might be depressed to a point. You can normally see it if your shirt is off and the shoulder blade is actually down. Now to fix this, you simply want to raise this up and support that shoulder. So you can take a pillow and fold it in a chair if your armrests do not come up, and you can rest like this if you want. You can also, depending upon your pillow, just put it right over the armrest just for some added height on this side. Brad has a piece of foam, which Bob actually took something and taped it to his computer chair at home because they weren't high enough right. for his tall stature. Right, yeah, I just took some furniture and cut this out of the armrest. <laughs> Now, if you actually have a chair with elevating armrests, mm -hmm. you can simply just raise it up that way, and that works as well. Right. Really takes the stress off of that shoulder. The weight of the whole arm is now supported. And do this for as long as you need it. If your shoulder plane pain decreases over time, you can lower it back down as long as it doesn't bother it.
All right, the next stretch for your shoulder is called all fours rocking. It is also commonly known as a prayer stretch. To begin, you're gonna start in a quadruped position like this. If you can't get on your hands and knees, Brad will show a seated version in a little bit here. Now for me, I wanna get my knees out wider and my toes together. That allows me to sit my butt towards my heels. As I'm going down, I'm putting pressure through my hand, keeping my shoulders in the same spot. So if you see me moving through this motion, you'll notice my shoulders are starting to raise overhead with a little bit of downward pressure force. This allows the scapula to function like it should, allowing your shoulder movement to be less painful. Once you're in this position, you want to hold it for three to five breaths and repeat it numerous times throughout the day. Nice job, Mike. So like he mentioned, if you're not able to get onto the floor on your knees like that, using a chair works good. I'm going to show you two quick options. If you have a chair with wheels, there's a nice way to do it. You go at your table or a countertop, and we're going to put our hands there and simply slide and roll the chair away, and you get the same stretch in regards to the scapular and the shoulder. We're gonna hold that for a breath or two and do that three times. Now, if you have a chair that does not have wheels, which is pretty common, you simply take a towel, put it on the table, and we're gonna use that so that we can easily slide our hands forward, getting the same stretch in our shoulder, and relax, don't fall asleep, and hold it, and then come back up. Just thought I'd throw a little sense of humor in there. So do that three times, two or three times, or up to five times throughout the day to get that shoulder moving and get that scapula gliding. The scapular glide, is that right, Bob? Yeah. There you go. Okay, the next thing to address is posture. Now, Bob and I have been talking about posture with shoulder mechanics for years. Now, Rick actually promotes a different way of getting this posture, and we really like it. You're gonna sit on a firm chair like this on the edge, and we're not gonna squeeze our shoulder blades back for good posture, that's not proper. The shoulders are gonna work much better by simply relaxing the shoulders. Put a hand here on your sternum, one on your abdomen, and think about lifting your sternum up and towards the ceiling, but and maintain a core contraction. In other words, feel your abdo abdominal muscles actually contract a little bit. Do not let your shoulders get tight. They will go where they need to go just by changing the rib cage position. So I look forward. Breathe in, up with the sternum, hand here. I feel my stomach contract, hold. Shoulders are relaxed. And you have to think about it. This is not real easy. And go down. What did I miss? Anything you can help out with? So after you inhale, you'll notice your chest will expand and lift up and your ribs will go up like this. What you want to do is just maintain this posture. Notice our shoulders aren't working, we're not squeezing back, and this keeps a nice neutral upright posture, preventing any shoulder pain, because if you're like this most of the day, mm. it's going to develop shoulder pain over time. That's right. Posture, posture, posture. We always cite posture. Okay, now the next stretch, you can either do lying on the floor, carpeted floor would be more comfortable, or in a bed. However, if you do it in a bed, you're gonna wanna take a pillow lengthwise and put it under your back, because otherwise you'll sink too deep and you won't get a proper stretch. You may wanna put a pillow under the head as well. So again, if you're doing it on the floor, the pillows are probably not necessary. Go ahead, Mike, and let's take on the uh, stretch and show them how to do it. So to begin, this is a chest pec stretch to start, so you're gonna to bring your thumbs up and you're going to bring your arms out to your side like this. If this is where you're stuck and you can't lift your shoulders any higher, that is fine. Hold it here for 30 to 60 seconds and feel a good stretch in your pec in front of your shoulder. Now, if you have good shoulder function, the progression of this is to try to almost like you're doing a snow angel, bringing your arms up above your head like this and then back down what range of motion is available to you. I did not start in the correct position my knees should be bent like this with my back flat against the pillow luckily my back was somewhat straight when I was doing it but go up as high as you can and try to get a good stretch you can do 10 repetitions if you can do the full range of motion like this and really try to push out as you're going up you notice right now if I'm being lazy I can just go here but if I actually focus I can actually get a little more so this is gonna get that scapula and shoulder joint functioning properly again and if you're not in the northern hemisphere where you get snow and you've never seen snow, what we're doing is making an angel in the snow. If you've ever watched the movie A Christmas Story, it's very clear. <laughs> 
Just a little, you know, trivia. Ralphie. Note. Now, one of the common irritants to any sore shoulder is your sleeping position, specifically if you like to lie and sleep on the sore shoulder. You actually fall asleep with it, it gets sore, and then by the time you wake up, the pain and the damage is done, reversing any progress you've done with your exercises. So most people, when they sleep on their side, are going to need two pillows or one really thick pillow to help get pressure off the shoulder for your head support. Now I'm going to add another pillow onto my rib cage here, creating a canal here for my arm to rest in. So once I lay down in this position, I'm not getting pressure on my shoulder. My ribs and my head are taking the pressure off there so I can lay on my side. But people may ask, why don't we just sleep with the sore shoulder on top? So if that's the case, you can simply place a pillow or two underneath here to just support it. Yeah. Put a little gap in your shoulder there, and this should help relieve any tension. Typically, the pain is more prevalent when your shoulder is depressed like this, so opening up a little bit can help. Yes, I've had great success with this with my patients over the years. Now, seriously, we really feel confident if you go through this exercise program, change your posture positions that we mentioned, you are going to have good success with this. And actually, the, we, what did we estimate? A thousand people are going to have excellent success with it. Do them properly and uh, you'll do well with it. Mike, you have some more to say. If you want to check out another video oh, yeah. about shoulder pain and other methods you can try, check out this video right here. Where? Here. Okay. I don't know, it's on the screen somewhere. <laughs> have a good day and be careful. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet.